Hello, I'm Mimi. I'm a full-time digital illustrator and I want to share with you how much my art business has grown this year and give you all the juicy gossip about my income for 2022 so far. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that later. If you've been following my journey for a little while, then you'll know that I've dreamed of earning a living, being a full-time illustrator, and although I've been doing this full-time since 2021, until very recently, I've barely been making minimum wage for Australians. It's been enough to live off of and not have to do other work, which I've been super grateful for, but this year my hard work has started really paying off as my business has been growing and growing. So let's take a look at my art income so far this year, not because I want to show off, but because if you're also dreaming of earning a living as an artist, then I want to show you that it's possible. And if I can build something like this, then I'm pretty confident that you can too. So the first quarter of this year, I earned 7,227 Australian dollars before tax and expenses. Then in the second quarter of this year, that income grew to 11,520 Australian dollars before tax and expenses. And I'm really excited to tell you that in the third quarter of this year, my business earned $18,868 before tax and expenses. And you don't have to be good at maths to see that that is positive growth. That's about 60% growth from one quarter to the next. And although it would be nice if the next quarter did that as well, I know that the growth will soon slow down as a percentage at least. A few things have really helped this financial growth in my business this year. After completing my first picture book, I've had offers to illustrate more books. So I've had more advanced payments coming in. My YouTube channel is now at a size that brands that I like are interested in sponsoring my videos. The snowball effect of slowly growing my audience means that everything I create gets more traffic than it used to. And my Patreon continues to grow as my audience grows and has been running long enough that there's now a lot of value in all of the videos and articles that are already on there. So then let's take a look at my income for this quarter broken down into the different income streams. And then I'll tell you a bit about my dreams for where my business is going. Like I said, in the third quarter of this year, my business made 18,868 Australian dollars before tax and expenses. The smallest income stream this past quarter was affiliate marketing, which earned me $151. That's actually $27 less than the previous quarter. So that figure went down, but I wasn't really promoting any products that I'm an affiliate with. And that's partly because I spent more energy on video sponsorships. I'm also only really a fan of affiliate marketing when I think it has genuine value to you guys. So I don't like to promote things just for the sake of making money from them. And also, honestly, I often forget to share my affiliate links. The second smallest income stream this past quarter was art licensing, which earned me $300. That's exactly the same amount I earned last quarter. I didn't reach out for any licensing deals, so there was just a small opportunity that came my way. I know I've said in the past that I'd quite like to actively seek out more licensing opportunities, but honestly, it hasn't really been a priority so far. And this year has slipped away from me with everything else that I've been working on. So maybe next year that can be more of a focus. So the next income stream is from my online shops, which earned me $1,078 this past quarter. And that includes my Etsy shop, my Gumroad shop, and also my new T-Mail shop that I just opened a few weeks ago. It's $173 more than the previous quarter, which is good, but it isn't huge. But the middle of the year is often a little quiet for sales and it's all completely passive. So I don't need a package or post anything when someone makes a sale. After that, we start getting into the larger income streams. And the next one is income from commissioned illustrations, which earned me $4,892 this past quarter. I include in that figure personal portrait commissions and also picture book illustrations. And it's increased $1,192 from the previous quarter. Like I mentioned earlier, I've had lots more picture book opportunities come up this year. So I had some advance payments come in this quarter, which is what makes up most of that figure. And I also have custom portrait commissions open on my Etsy shop just until this coming weekend. So a bit of that is from those commissions as well. 
Not far in front of commissions is Patreon, which earned $4,901 this past quarter, which is $412 more than the previous quarter. My Patreon is a really important part of my business because it's the most steady income stream that I have, and it just slowly grows as I put more and more on there and as my audience grows as well. If you haven't been a member of my Patreon community before, now is a really good time to join because I'll be sharing early access to my brush pack there in October, and I'll be doing an advent calendar again in December, so consider joining today if you're not already a patron. And then the biggest income stream this past quarter was YouTube, which earned $7,543, and this time I've included both the AdSense from views and sponsorship income. That's a huge $5,596 more than the previous quarter, but in the past I haven't included sponsorship income, so it's not actually quite such a big jump as that figure, but it is still a lot. In the past I didn't include sponsorship income because I had only just started out with sponsors and I'm not allowed to talk directly about how much my sponsors pay me, but now that I've worked with multiple sponsors and the income from them is more significant, I've included the overall figure in this past quarter's income. I'm excited to be able to work with sponsors that I think are a good fit for this channel because it's a way that I can provide you with free content but still get paid for the work that I put in. So for me it's a win-win because I like my content to be as accessible as possible. I also really like sponsorships that offer you guys something valuable like a free trial. So anytime you watch a sponsored video or support one of my sponsors you're really supporting the growth of my business in a pretty big way and I really appreciate it. So the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare and I'm a big fan because they're an online learning community with so many videos for creatives like us to learn new skills or level up the things we already know a bit about. If you're looking to build an art business then they have amazing classes about selling your art online, organizing your schedule and improving your illustration skills. I found especially helpful this short and concise class from Alicia Souza called e-commerce for creatives sell your artwork with an online store where she runs us through all the things to consider when setting up our own online stores. It's a really good starting point for beginners and she covers all the important topics like finances, shipping and getting customers to help kickstart your online store. Skillshare is a great resource to invest in if you're on your own art business journey and the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can try it out for yourself. Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, let's get back to it. So with all of my income streams from the third quarter of 2022, my income averaged out to be about $6,289 before tax and expenses per month. I do have to pay tax out of that figure. I also have some business expenses like my website, software, hardware, and things that I use for my office. And then I also pay my video editor every month as well. Even still, my business is at a point now where I'm consistently earning above minimum wage, which makes it much easier to grow and reinvest in my business and also means that I can have more financial stability for my own personal goals as well. It's only October, so the year isn't quite over yet and I would of course like to see a little more growth for the final quarter of this year. Maybe I'll aim for $20,000 for the next quarter just to round things out for Christmas, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So my dream of earning a living as a full-time illustrator is becoming a reality and one that looks like it'll actually be sustainable going into the future, which I am so grateful for and to be honest, haven't been entirely confident about until quite recently. I've been so lucky on my journey so far, but I've also put in so much hard work, love and energy into this business and it's a real relief to see it growing. I'm now able to spend my time illustrating and making videos to share my journey, which is definitely the coolest job I've ever had and I hope I can keep it going for a long time to come. In the future, I would love for my business to allow me to travel with my work so that I can explore different places and visit art galleries all over the world. I've always liked the idea of being a digital nomad and this business could allow me to do that in the future. I want to keep creating and keep growing and I'd love to reach more people to encourage them to follow their own art dreams. 
I'd really like to create courses and learning material for beginner artists and to kind of be a one-stop shop for getting started with your own art business so that I can help as many people as possible. Eventually though, I'd like to be able to buy a little cottage somewhere in the countryside where Dan and I can have a dog and a cat, maybe some chickens or a bunny rabbit, and I can have a beautiful art studio where I can sit and illustrate my picture books. So maybe one day you'll be watching a video on this channel about the day I move into my dream home that I've bought with the income from this business, and you guys will have been along with me for the journey. So thank you so much for your support watching this video and my other videos. Thank you so much for supporting my sponsors because I do pick them very carefully. And thank you if you follow me on Instagram or if you're a member of my Patreon community because it all helps make my dreams a reality. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then consider giving it a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more content about being an artist. Also, if you'd like access to my drawing tutorials and monthly illustration club, then consider joining my community over on Patreon, where I share lots of goodies every month. And you can even browse the main articles and videos that are available before you join via the Patreon page on my website. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.